happy, possible playoff clinching night for the Golden Knights. And before any of you say it in the comments, yes, I shaved and I look 14. Anyhow, I want to do a video where it's going to be like an open letter to what I'm going to call right now the big four Vegas pro sports teams. Some of you might be confused on the math. Let's start at the bottom. The future, potentially future, Las Vegas Athletics. And basically, each of these letters, letters, is going to be me asking them to do one simple or not so simple thing. So the athletics, number one. If you make it to Las Vegas without screwing up, that still feels like a kind of big if, I'm not going to lie. But if you do, I know you're not going to change the name. You're not going to really rebrand that much. But please, get rid of that god-awful green and do like a gold. Gold and black, you know, they look good together. You'll you'll fit in. We'll go up to the Raiders. This one I have to actually think on for a while. I, I'm going to go with, please. Please, please, understand that this year is still kind, it's not a rebuild year, but the expectation this year should not, by any means, necessarily be a deep playoff run. Yes, I do agree, or I do think, believe that the team is a quarterback away from being a deep playoff run team. You might have to draft that quarterback this year. You're not going to realistically make a deep playoff run with a rookie quarterback can it happen? Yes, but it's rare. Except that even if you get that guy, let them sit behind Gardner Minshew for a few weeks. Don't throw them into the lion's den and screw this up. Please. Two more spots left. We don't know who one of the spots on this is going to be. We're going to save them for last. Third on my list, Dear Las Vegas Aces. You rebranded the jerseys this offseason for some reason because that's what you do after winning two straight championships. They're kind of ugly. I don't think they're going to sell that well. You know how you make them sell well? You somehow find a way to trade up to the number one overall draft spot and you draft Caitlin Clark. You bring Miss Clark to Clark County. That's how you sell those ugly jerseys. So Las Vegas Aces, please trade up to the number one overall spot. And for the Golden Knights. Please just secure the playoffs tonight. Please. Don't str make anyone stress this out. I know technically to clinch tonight you still need help with the Blues losing to Chicago, which kind of a long shot. But be right there where you're like one point. Exit tonight needing just one more point to clinch, okay? Slash the Blues to miss out on one more point somewhere down the road. That is what we need. Now that I'm thinking about that, hold on. If the Blues lose in regulation, yeah, if the Blues lose in regulation, I think we only need one point tonight. I'm pretty sure. But anyhow, that's my open letter to the Vegas teams. Color change. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't script the quarterback situation. Trade up to number one and draft Caitlin Clark. And just get in the playoffs tonight, guys. No drama. We don't need that crap from two years ago. And with that, that's all I got. This video feels really weird. It was not very well scripted. It was a quick concept that I threw together. And I'm doing it on an empty stomach. And I'm looking at myself realizing how weird I look now that I shaved. But hey, if you're going to throw some, throw some hatred at me in the comments. It's good for the algorithm. Hit the like button while you're at it. And subscribe. So you can see more stupid videos like this.